Howdy folks, this is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. We're up here at our northern acreage garden and we are going to show you guys how we determined to construct a electric fence around our garden area. Now we have a small garden, we don't need anything elaborate, we just need to cover about, oh it's not even a quarter acre, it's maybe even a, a one-eighth of an acre. but we needed something that would prevent particularly the deer but also the rabbits groundhogs squirrels you name it from going in and periodically raiding our vegetables and it's a daunting task if you've not done this before as mentioned in our article i have some skills some construction skills and some know-how but i was hesitating about diving in and just piecemeal putting together a garden fence uh, electric garden fence around our garden. So we elected to go with a kit. Now a kit does have advantages in that supposedly it brings everything together that you need to do a certain area and there are various numbers of kits out there that illustrate you know the size of you want to build and all that and it simplifies things because the parts are all, all there theoretically. I'll mention a couple things that were not included in the kit we got but still, it's a, um, it's a more simplified process. And we found a kit on the Huey Man website and ordered it, came in, and it was pretty straightforward. They have a really good video, demonstration video, and how stuff goes together. So you know how all the parts work and how to string the, the various, the, uh, the lines and all that. But I wanted to explain to you all a few things that we did. And in our first video about the subject, we started off with the Hui Man, and it worked fine, it was great, it came together, and it worked out throughout the whole entire year. The one thing that we did not do that was part of the Hui Man kit was the solar, because they did not mention that in order to do the solar, you had to have a deep cycle battery. And those of you that are into marine life and whatnot, you understand that deep cycle battery is quite expensive. So we went down to um, circuits, circuit city, went down to our uh, tractor supply company and we found a little charger. It's a little five mile charger and got it all hooked up and it's been, it worked great all year last year. This year, we have dispensed with the Hui Man rod system. This is just a fiberglass rod. It's a half inch, thereabouts. And um, this is what you use to string all the lines around. The problem with this is, well, they don't look all that attractive. And we're, this year, we're after a little uh, aesthetic upgrade and they flex. There's not much, when you drive it in the ground, there's a tendency under tension for it to bend, right? And that did not give it the kind of look that we were hoping it would have. So, as a result, we went with what we call <laughs> in-house a T, this is a T-post and a pipe system. And the beauty about this T-post is that you can drive it in the ground. And by the way, if you want to make your life easier, be sure to get a post pounder. This is a great investment because trying to drive this in with a sledgehammer and hold it and all that, mm, it's tough. So this is a nice implement to have if you decide to use T-posts for anything really, but for this project in particular. So you got this, right? And if you're just going to go with the T-post and not use the pipe, which I'll show you in just a second, they make these, um, this is, this is, they make insulators that will slip right over this T-post because it's, it, you know, it really, the reason they call it a T because it has a T there. And it will slip right over and you run your line through there. Now, one thing that was not mentioned in the Hui Man set was the concept of a gate. We mentioned that in the article. It's really important to have a way of getting in and out and even if you can do so without having to disconnect 
your electric. It's fine if you if you need to disconnect your electric fence, but um, it's it's just essential for us to be able to get in and out of the garden. And what they call a gate is basically what we did is uh, having a way of attaching the fence line, having a break, and having it come out so it can be detached and then reattached. And it's a pretty simple process. It involves a little extra hardware, which we picked up at Tractor Supply, our favorite place. And one of the things they have is, you see, this is the um, this an insulator here. It has two metal eyelets, and this fits right right over right over the T post. You see, just like that. And it has a bolt. This is a bolt that you turn and tighten up against the post so it makes a really sturdy attachment and as you can see it's also adjustable um, you can move it up and down loosen the bolt move it up and down to wherever you want your lines to run all right but we adapted this system to our pipe system by drilling a hole and getting this to go through the pipe this 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 right here they also make these with a a screw base this is sort of a bolt base here that goes into this and we use some of them with a screw base like going into a wooden post and they worked out pretty well too all right this is an inch and a half pipe right pvc and one of the things we we determined was that these these right here can actually be painted. Um, you, there are special paints out there that you could do a primer and then do the paint, or you can just go with a special paint. And we went with a um, Rust-Oleum brand paint that has a rating saying it, it can go right on plastic. Now you gotta be a little careful and make sure you're cleaning, that you're sanding the, the um, PVC and that it's free of any debris and such and then apply um, we did it with just one coat basically and went back and touched them up so we have this pipe and it actually goes over the t-post very handily let me show you see it just slips right over and basically what we did is when we reconfigured the garden area we stuck in the t-post and then came back with the painted a little easier to do it when these are not on the post uh, with the painted inch and a half PVC, right? Okay. Be sure when you get to T post, we ran into a couple T posts that we'd already driven in. This is the way life is sometimes. And the darn things were so big, whoever made them, and I guess they're more sturdy and all that, but it would not allow, you really were trying to jam this thing down over it so we had to pull those t those t posts up and uh reinstall some ones that this would fit so it's a good idea if you're going to go with this type of project to check make sure that this will slip slip right over and this obviously you just drop it down and there it goes it's it's on <laughs> you can see we have an arrangement going around the garden and what i wanted to illustrate was the lines are still the same basic thing that we had in the last year's version of the fence you have tilt this down right here you have the uh, this, this is just a top line here right this is just for um, really aesthetics and appearance sake but it also animals that that touch on the hot wire which is down here this is this next one down animals that touch on that get a little shock and to them everything that's white and a line is um, charged so they they tend to shy away we also put a um, another we have two basic hot lines we have one here okay and then one down below I don't know whether you can see there or not but there's one down below and we went with a tape you can get um, wire or you can get poly cord that has a um, metal running through it same thing but we just like the tape because it's a little more a little more obvious right and then down below is another poly cord at the very bottom that's maybe about 
yeah, oh, about four inches or so from the, uh, from the ground area. And that's to discourage the little ones that get in there and can sneak past the, uh, the charged line. We may have to adjust that. But this is the, um, this is the system. It is a process. And you guys don't have to go with the um, with this style right here, okay? We just thought it would give it a nice, aesthetic, appealing look as we're trying to upgrade our whole garden. We've installed these beds, right? And um, we've done a lot of, of kind of amendment upgrade with our soil and uh, added a few plants, some blackberries and such. But this is... This is a fairly simple process. It just takes a little bit of time. Once you get a kit, and this was our experience, once you get a kit, you experiment with that, and you work with it, pick up pieces if you need to, like, you know, a gate, parts, whatever. Get used to what's out there at uh, Tractor Supply or Lowe's or wherever you go to pick up such things. And uh, that'll give you a little bit more experience, a little bit more confidence. And so we came back this year knowing pretty well how to work this whole system. Another thing that's really important is in addition to your charger and whether it's a solar charger that is hooked up to a deep cycle battery or whether it's something like a, um, a, a mounted charger with an electrical, you know, a real electrical hookup that's a plug-in, just make sure you're, you're putting it out of the weather and protecting it and there there are ways you can make a little box a little shelter um, you don't want the whole box to get wet and make sure it's well grounded that is vital to make sure that you've got that ground wire coming off the charger and it's securely fastened to a metal stake driven in the ground okay i guess that's pretty much it i can't think of any other bits of advice to pass along but you can ask questions you know visit our site subscribe to us check that bell up there and we'll send you some uh, updates as we go along if anything happens to let you know how the, this is all working out and uh, we do invite your comments so let us know what you think this is coleman alderson for gardensall.com thank you so much for being here and we look forward to hearing about your adventures in gardening in particular any, any sort of experiences you've had with your electric fencing. So long for now. Take care. Bye-bye.